the top of there on a tram, and they're supposed to build some condominiums up in that Maple Flats. Uh, I can't think of this kid's name. This is some more scouts that I took hunting. That guy was Green. I remember his last name, Bill Green. And maybe if I see their face, that's a Jolly. That's me, and this is up uh, on the face of Temp. We took all of our guns and went hunting up there when I was Scoutmaster. Is that the end? Six, this is about my army. Now that son of a gun there. Still a gym. It's a war. I took this in the back of the troop train, and uh, there goes uh, the train through the tunnel. Is it on? Yep. Okay. Just hit that with your finger if it starts fluttering. There, I, these guys are some of the guys is in the service with. I can't think of their names. Maybe I'll remember as we go. Having a nice big old water fight. This must have been in California. There's Bill Sumption and and me. He dropped in. He was going somewhere. We both went in cadets together. This guy's name was Dotson. I don't remember his first name. That seems to be running. This is the guy was Wilson. I think this was a Merced, California. Boy, look at that ice cream we're eating there. You could go to the PX and get a whole quart for 15 cents. Can you believe that, Lance? Quart ice cream for 15 cents. That's what we do at nights. We'd all go get one. This is me showing off. I got me some sergeant stripes there and was going to pin them on. Clowning a little. This would have been in 1944. There I come out. I'm sure this is at Merced, California, by the looks of the barracks and everything. This was a basic flight training, and I was a, I was a captain there for the cadets. Oh, I wish I could remember these guys' names, but I can't. There we are. Basic training. They flew BT-13s there off that field. <clears throat> Pretty good-looking old man you got there. And this is Tommy Chandler, and he got shot down over the English Channel. His first fighter, he was a fighter pilot. First radar Germany, he got shot down. This is Long Beach, California, Lance. Army life wasn't too tough. Got to Everything running okay, Randy? There's the old giant racer they got Grandpa Harding on, and he said he's never so scared in his life. That's me and Tommy out there. That's when I was in the prime. I could whip wildcats. I was about 19 years old, and that's a gal I went with when I was in the service. Tommy Chandler's friend. You've been down here on this beach, I think. Can't remember her name even. We're getting a pretty good picture there, Randy, I think. Yeah. And that was Tommy Chandler's mom. She was a good lady. Boy, she took in all the servicemen and they'd come to Los Angeles and cook for them. This is going over the Great Salt Lake on a troop train over the tram and the sun was just setting. That'd been pretty if it'd been in color. That's when the old tram was made out of logs and then they built it in gravel. I was holding that up, and the train could only go about five miles an hour, afraid of shaking that to pieces. And this is going up over the Sierra Nevadas into California. 
I think that other film is always at Bakersfield, California. Because this is going to California, I remember now. Another old tunnel. I had my head out the camera, out the window, taking a picture of it. Whenever we go through one of these tunnels, we'd have to put on our gas mask because it'd just fill a train of smoke. This might be coming from Denver. It looks like the spring of the year. And that's out of Green River somewhere, if I remember correctly. Looks like Green River country to me, anyhow. Boy, we didn't stop at that station. We just went barreling right on through. Less, oh, this is uh, Wayne, Nebraska, at the college training detachment. They had 2,000 girls there and only 200 cadets. When the old buzzer would ring in the morning and the, and the taps would play, you had one minute to get dressed and get out in formation. And I was three stories up, so I had to hurry. It's one of the fine co-eds there. That's the girl that I took to the military ball, and she laughed at me because I had to walk tours on my birthday. Every time you got a demerit, that was one tour, and you had to walk it with a wooden rifle. I'd like to go back to that campus sometime and see it. It was kind of built upon a hill, and then the town was below it. There's old Boyd Luke showing off. And that's me. I give the guy a push down the hill instead of... There was our squadron commander, and he was a sharp cadet, I'll tell you. Boy, you treated them just like officers. Slewed them everywhere you went. And that's when I wasn't even a cadet officer. I got to be one later. You saw me there at Merced or wherever it was. And there's me and old Boyd Luke. We, he, was, he was from Junction, Utah. Him and I were pretty good buddies all, all the time we was in cadets. He was a fighter. He didn't, boy, all you had to do was rub him wrong, and he was ready to fight. <coughs> and he was big enough to fight, too. His name was Nick Bartis. He played with uh, Ted Lewis's band before he came into the service. He could play that thing. He got a band going at this training detachment because he's a band leader. They made him, Here, here's the way you walk tours. Come to attention, turned around, and walked another 100 yards or whatever it was. There's old Denver, sir. He was a clown. He didn't care for nothing. <laughs> That's me and somebody in Oc turned and knocking his hat off. That guy was named Remington. That's the only action I seen on the battlefield. There's one of the squirrels that going across the road there. Up in the tree. I can't remember this little guy's name, but he was a mean little Jose. He was an officer. And this guy didn't drink any booze. All he drank was milk. So he'd go down to the bar and order a glass of milk. And Sergeant Golf, he'd say, Now you GI those shoelaces if you want to go to town and see those tomatoes. And you will shine those shoes. Here's falling out in the formation. When that old bugle would blow, you'd get out there on the run. This is Lewis Wells and his first little daughter. He came there, and he was taking transition at Sioux City, Iowa, and I flew with him. He was a lieutenant. Good picture of him. There's old Denver, sir, again, officer of the day. You got to wear a pistol then, but you didn't have no bullets for it. But the officer of the day, he was the chief. That's Merlin Remini. He got killed flying, that kid there. Got vertigo and went right into the corn patch. This kid on this side. This old boy here was a joy. He got me through cadets. He'd teach me math every Sunday. And he's reciting the face on the barroom floor. And that was funny. I wish I could have had sound. Here we are going out to take physical education. 
Every day we had that. This old guy, PT teacher, would give us bending groaners. That's me pitching baseball there. I was pretty good pitching them days. Our squadron could beat any of them. Old squadron G, and we could steal more chicken from the mess hall, and we, we took them all in athletics. That's me running there. I think I got a home run on this one. Nope, two bagger. Boy, them guys are in their prime. They take the best guys for, <coughs> maybe it was this time I got a home run, but I know I got one. I think they threw the ball over the heads of everybody. And there goes Lewis Wells. He buzzed the field and come down real low when we was out on retreat. And this guy was our math teacher. I went to his house more than once. I'd get about 68, and that wasn't enough to pass. I had to get 75. And that's looking at the houses down from the campus in Wayne, Nebraska. That's riding the troop train and sticking her heads out the window and taking each other's picture. This would have been in 1943, the latter part of 1943. And this is going to the retreat parade. We had this every night. We had to march by the girls' <clears throat> dormitory and they'd all have their heads out. I led the band here and one lieutenant gave me demerits for not turning where he told me to. And Another lieutenant told me to turn in a different place. That guy there was a character. Was one of these that had their old man was a general and they'd fly an airplane in to take him home every weekend. Close order drill. We had an hour of that every day. There was the captain who was in charge of us and the Lieutenant executive officer, and these are the student officers. He was a pretty good guy, and that lieutenant there was kind of chicken. I don't remember too much about him. That guy there was chicken. I never did like him. They were the student officers, and we had to treat them just like officers. Well, how do you like that drill? This is standing retreat while the bugle blowed and the flag come down at night at five o'clock every night. And then we'd go to chow and then we had two hours of studying and that's saluting the flag while the bugle blowed and the flag come down. There was about five or six squadrons. That was our tactical officer and boy, if he even found one button undone on you, you had, I had all my pockets sewed shut so I couldn't put my hands in them. I got that white rifle and had to carry it, bed and sleep with it and eat with it. And so I just had my shirt pockets sewed shut and everything else so they couldn't get me. That's old Dan Vosher and Nick Bartis. <laughs> there they are doing arms on their trumpets. That was a lot of fun, but I, I couldn't take that now. I'd tell them to go jump in the lake. There's the officers out in the head, and there's the two buglers playing retreat. These films were taken probably in June or July of 1943. You still running all right, Randy? Good. I think here's where we march off the, no, that's closing in to march off the field after we, boy, you couldn't even move an eye off the guy's neck and head of you or they'd get you. See that old sergeant watching back there? There's the captain, he's a pretty good guy. We was going over to get dates and we decided we'd chicken out and didn't want dates and we met him coming back and. He says, I presume you boys have been over to get you a date. And I said, no, sir. And he said, about face. And the way we went back over, this is called harassment. Them student officers get you and make you wrinkle your chin and throw your shoulders back. 
Took me three hours to get up the stairs when I first come into this place. They'd make me drop my barracks bags and they'd roll clear of the bottom. This is the, uh, oh, what's the river? The river, the Council Buffs, and what's that? Missouri River. This is near Council Buffs. There's the old troop train again. I, this would have had to be on the way back to California. We went to California, then we went back to college, and then we went back to California. These are Sierra Nevada mountains. How much we got left on that one? Four, five, six yeah, I think this is Merced here, and there's the airplanes are coming in. This is cooling off. It's the middle of summer there, and it get to get get up to about 105 or six. So we just lived on the water. That's me on somebody's shoulders getting cooled off. Just go out and wrestle and fight and squirt the water on us. This was a basic flight school here. That's jumping the hose. This should be color, but it looks almost like black and white. Okay, get ready to shut her off. No, it's still going. Oh. Got four or five no, not that much. That's me diving in the pool there. Had some pretty good looking honeys at this base. There's one great big old fat MP, and when she'd jump in that pool, all the water would come out. We got to go swimming every afternoon. That was part of her PT on this base, is to go swimming. And you had to learn to be dropped in the parachute into this pool and get off under the parachute. I don't know if I show any of that here or not. This is a pool that somebody kicked me and I thought, you dirty bugger, and we come up together and it was old Holman Dawson from, from the same Orem here that I knew. There's one of the wafts. Yours truly. Merced, California. They growed watermelons just outside the base, so every time we'd come in, we'd bring a bunch of watermelons and put them in the, the pea urinal so we'd have them cool and the water dripped down. It was one of them urinals where the water drips out of the pipe, and we'd make everybody use the toilets, and we'd use the, keep the melons cool. This is Loveridge. He was from Salt Lake. Can't remember his first name right now. He was one of my best pals. We'd come home on fur year hello together, and he took all the pictures from the albums. <laughs>